I'm Steph Weavers. I'm going to be explaining to you the drawing process. Can I have Sophia come up and help me? <laughs> All right, Sophia, what we're going to use is a firm backing and a screen. Then we're going to take our ceramic tile float and we're going to, you're going to hold this. You're going to have a firm grip on your backing. And we're going to take our algae and pour it onto our backing. And you're going to press down firmly to get as much water out as possible. Mm -hmm. All right, can I have it like that? Yeah, so much that. Yep. to break the cell membranes. The lipid oils that we want to extract are inside the cell membranes. And a good example of why you break it is like, or you dry it, is because when you have cooked pasta, it's just pliable, it'll bend. And then when you have dry pasta, you can just snap it, and that's what we want the cell membranes to do. So from here, once we have our dried algae, we're going to have a press. And to talk to you about our press, it's going to be out. What we have here is our prototype oil press. What we want to have is we want to have these iron pipes to make a firm frame around the entire thing. Then we're going to take an iron piston and we're going to place that in the center. Then we're going to have a small iron vessel or metal vessel and we're going to drill lots of tiny, tiny holes in it. And then we're going to stuff it with as much algae as we can. Like that. Then we're going to put a top plate over it and then place a two-ton hydraulic jack on top of that. Then we're going to jack it up just enough so that it's touching the frame. And then to squeeze the algae out from the vessel, we're going to jack it up again. We're going to force the lipid oils out of the vessel into a reservoir at the bottom of the contraption. 